Henry Motigo was born in 1964 in Guja district in current day Kisi County. He was raised in a football loving family which made him take a liking to football at a very young age. Mimi ni msali wa Basco Itangare. Uko ndio ni msali wa mwaka wa 1964 May 20th. Uko ndio wa school ni somo ile 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 Itangare Primary School. Familia yetu ni watu wa sports. Baba yangu mwenyewe alikuwa anacheza mpira. Ndugu yangu mkubwa alikuwa anacheza na River Tex. Kwanza sana sana wakati nilikuwa Shabana yeye yuko River Tex alikuwa anacheza nyuma na mimi nilikuwa striker. Ilikuwa na enjoy sana kucheza na yeye kwa sababu nilikuwa yeye alikuwa mkubwa mimi nilikuwa mdogo. Sasa alikuwa akinidharau na mimi nilikuwa nkimbeat na nafunga. Even when he was in primary school the young footballer showed great promise and football clubs came calling for his signature. Wakati nilikuwa anacheza primary Shabana walikuwa ananiona nikicheza mpaka national wakanitamani huyu kocha wangu akubarikane akaniona ndiye alikuwa anatamani ni ninge shabana lakini wazazi wangu walikataa kwa sababu kutoka nyumbani ukuja uka town walisema pengine wewe utaenda kusoma utaenda kwa kucheza football peke yake ukasema pengine nimalize kutoka huyu nyumbani primary ndio sasa pengine nikienda town kusoma hizo school za town ndio ni join ndio join team yote After completing his primary education, Motegu signed for Shabana Football Club where he was instrumental in the club's promotion to the Kenyan Premier League. Wakati nilimaliza kutoka nyumbani, nilikuja nikiingia form 1. Shabana vile walikuwa wameniona ninacheza mpaka nationals, sasa waka wakanichukua sasa. Wakaanza kunilipia school fees, the same time nicheza mpira. Wakati niliingia form 1, niliingia Kisa High School for one week kwa sababu ya mpira ile nilikuwa nacheza school zikuwa zinakimbilia nyingi sana. Kasi soma kisi high school for one week ngatolewa ngapeleka kwa school ya mission kadnotunga na wale wasungu walikuwa brother Anton na Michael Dicock brother Dicock wakanipeleka huko huko nisoma miaka miwili kutoka hapo sasa ndio nkaenda wakati huo nilikuwa nachezea Shabana wakati nilikuwa nachezea Shabana wachezaji wengi walikuwa itiri sasa vile nilikuwa peke yangu kutoka kadnotunga wakawa na hapana sio vizuri afadhali tukuchukue mahali wachezaji wa Shabana wengi wapo ndio ngatolewa huko ngaenda kumalizia Itiria High School. Nilijoin Shabana walikuwa provincial. Provincial niliwapata walikuwa provincial. Walikuwa hiyo miaka yote walikuwa wakicheza hawatoki hapo. Lakini sasa wakati niliingia kuna wachezaji walileta wazuri pia kutoka Nairobi. Mmoja kama Gri Baba, Tony Fire, Kenyatta au ndio wachezaji nilipata pia walileta tukachanganyikana nao. Alafu sasa tuka reinforce team ndio tukaingia National Super League. Sasa kutoka National Super League ndio tukaingiza league yenyewe. Tutaingiza Premier League. After performing well with Shabana, he was noticed by Kenya Breweries and was signed in 1989. Wakati wa nilitoka Shabana niliingia Kenya Breweries. Nilichezea Kenya Breweries kutoka 89 mpaka 91 wakati nitoka wa Brewers ndengia warabuni. Nilifurahi sana kuingia Kenya Brewers. Kenya Brewers walikuwa na kila kitu. Okay. Kitu ya kwanza ukiingia Kenya Brewers unapewa kazi. Security. Ni kesi ya bwana injury kama ni mbayo uweze ukacheza, kuna ile security kazi uko nayo, uweze kupoteza kazi, unaendelea na kazi. Sasa kitu utaweza waja ni mpira utaweza waja, lakini kazi unaendelea na kazi. Hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza nilifurahia Shabana hakukuwa na kitu kama hiyo hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza nilifurahia. Alafu ukicha mambo ya allowances. Allowances pia tulikuwa tunalipwa vizuri. Pale mkicheza game mko na allowances. You already scored team manager amebeba. Nikimaliza game tu hivi chioni nikupewa allowances yenyu mnaenda. Nyumba ulikuwa ni wewe una decide una kaanja ama unapewa nyumba ya kampuni. Yeah. Hiyo ndio kitu nilifurahia sana. Alafu yule coach nilipata huko ni mzungu Tony Banfield. Huyu ndiye ni encourage hata alikuwa anataka kunipeleka kwa England niende kucheza Ipswich Trials lakini sasa kampuni ikakata After two seasons at the Ruaraka based side Motigo signed for Aloruba Soccer Club in Oman for two seasons Ligi ya Warabuni pia nilikuwa na wafungia vile nilikuwa nimezoea hapa Kenya kufunga kwa sababu ukiangalia wale Waarabu ndio walikuwa wanataka sasa kuinuka mambo ya kiboli ndio walikuwa wanataka players wengi kutoka nje wengine kwa hizo matimu kusaidia wale vijana wakafanya nini walikuwa wajui boli vizuri ndio sasa tuwasaidie kwa wenye wajui transfer nilipata through Mamda Bas Mamda Bas ni mwa ni mwarabu sasa wakati alikuwa coast 
alisikia timu kuna strikers wanataka na warabuni sasa yeye akakumbuka kwa sababu nilikuwa anacheza naye national team akanipigia simu toka Mombasa akaniambia Henry wakati alikuwa Real Union akaniambia Henry kuna mtu anatafuta strikers anataka kupeleka warabuni nataka upate hiyo chance utoka hapa Kenya uende ujaribu trials huko meaning ngakubali ngakubali na yeye wakati nilitoka Kenya Breweries nilitoroka kasi nilitoroka kasi ngaenda warabuni for trials wakati nilifika huko ngafa sasa ni design contract huko huko ngaanza na ngaanza kazi huko huko. Sasa Kenya Brewers wakati waligundua nimeshatoroka nimeenda. Unajua nilika Warabuni 2 years bila kurudi Kenya. Wakati nilirudi nilishi Brewers waligundua niko Kenya. Kwa sababu nilikuwa their top scorer. Hawakutaka kunilease nilirudi Warabuni. He had left Kenya Brewers for Aloruba without a release by the Kenyan side. While on a visit to Kenya, Kenya Brewers forced his return to the club. Sasa LBD and airport wa report. Sasa wakati mimi nilitoka narudi Warabuni, season yangu imeisha. Nilishikwa huko ngambiwa mpaka ni nganyanganywa passport mpaka niende Kenya Brewers nipate release ndio nirudi Warabuni. Sasa wa Brewers nilijaribu juu chini nilijaribu juu chini walikataa kunirudisha kurudi Warabuni. E, ni case wali ni promote wali kanipatia job tofauti na ile nilikuwa nafanya. Sasa wakaniharibia hivyo 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 sasa si kurudi Warabuni. 93 ndio Kenya Brewers walikataa nisirudi Warabuni. Sasa nilirudi pale nikajua ngawachezea kwa sia ya 93, 94, 95, 96, 97 up to 2002. 2002. Kati nilifika 2002 ngawaambia nataka kutitaya sasa. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kulitaya sasa nifanye kazi peke yake. Chairman wangu akakata. Misa Adams akakata niendelee kucheza mpira mpaka wakati yeye mwenyewe ataniambia nilitaye. Sasa wakati nilifika national team wakati wale wachezaji nilikuwa nacheza nao wamelitaya kina Bobby Okora nani sasa niletea wale vijana wadogo. Sasa ngijaribu kuwaongea nao wanajifanya wanajua boli sana kunishinda. Ilibidi sasa mimi nilitaye national team. Yeah, ilibidi nilitaye national team 92 nilitaye sasa wakati nilipeleka timu Senegal kurudi sasa mimi ngawaambia mimi nimeretire officially kutoka national team nataka kuchezea club yangu. Moti go return to play for Kenya Breweries until he retired from football in 2000. He took up a role as assistant coach at the club for some time. Mambo ya coaching ni sio kitu rahisi. Inakura mtu kichwa kulala ni ngumu kwa sababu lazima ufikirie the next day ni nini unatakana kufanya. Yeah, kwa players. Unajua as a coach lazima endelee kulan kusoma vitabu kila saa. Yeah. Wakati nilikuwa sasa nimechukua assistant coach na Gosi Mlei nili enjoy sana kukuwa na Gosi Mlei. Nilikuwa nime enjoy sana kwa sababu vitu nyingi tulikuwa lazima tushauriane pamoja sisi wawili. Yeah, lazima tukue kitu kimoja. Ukitaka timu ishinde lazima mkue kitu kimoja. Ikikuwa mchezo coach mmoja yuko na players wengine upande na mwingine upande huu amwezi mkaperform. Gosi yeye tulikuwa lazima tusungumuze leo tunataka kufanya APCD na hivyo ndio tulikuwa tunafanya hiyo ndio tulisaidia tulikuwa tunashinda trophies tulishinda trophies mara mbili na Gosi Mule moja nilishinda moja tulishinda na yeye moja nilishinda nili kwa Holland training aliniwa ya team akaenda Holland for training na mimi ngakuwa ngachukua Tino Kidavi Kitavi tino kitabu yako kwa assistant wangu unajua akoje utaweza kuwa mgonje lazima kuwe na assistant wako nilichagua tino kitabu yako kwa assistant wangu alikuwa afuma Kenya Brewers player yeah at long last wakati nilikuja kwa cha ball kabisa yeye ni mwachia team ni mwachia team sasa nikarudi kufanya kazi peke yake nicknamed ndovu motego made several appearances for the Kenya national team including six fifa world cup qualifying matches nilicheza mpira nilikuwa naitwa ndovu hii ndofu imekuja wakati nilikuwa nimenona hata ilikuwa ngili mtu akinitega siwezi anguka chini ndio nikaitwa ndofu alafu kupata mtu kama Mikiweche walikuwa mmuita pikipiki kwa sababu ya ile kukimbia yake nakumbuka ile game ile perform vizuri ni Archers wakati niliwafunga mabao mawili nika assist moja sikao toa 3-3-1 kasarani hiyo ndio nakumbuka the best He also played for Kenya at the 
1990 and 1992 African Cup of Nations. Niliona nimeachieve ile kitu nilikuwa nataka kuachieve. Tumeshinda trophies, nimecheza national team for 7 years. Nya brewer list niliwachezea kutoka 89 mpaka 202. Niliona at least na mimi nimechoka kaambia chairman wangu Adams nimechoka na mimi nataka kutaka kwa nini Kenya Brewer si nifanye kazi. Sasa nilitaya 205. Kenya Brewery sasa ngaza kufanya kazi. Nilikuwa na early retirement. Sasa nilijipata niko kwa Tati Group ya early retirement. Kalipo pesa yangu yote ngatoka nikanunua kashamba huko Nairobi ngachenga nika sasa hapo nyuma ya Kenya Brewery si ninunua hapo ngachenga huko ndio nakaa. Ukiwaja ukiwaja kazi uwezi kaa nje hata unakaa kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni. Kulikuwa na rafiki yangu anaitwa Ronald Nyaoga. Alikuwa na kampani yake ya construction is a homemade sasa wakati nilikuwa nje alikuwa akiniambia unafanya ananiuliza unafanya nini nje akaniambia kuja nitakupatia job ya unifanyi nilienda kwa mimi ndio nilikuwa ni secretary wake sasa mimi ndio nilikuwa natengenezea wafanyikazi wake mshahara nini at the end of the week tuna tunawalipa mshahara sasa hivyo ndio tuliendelea hivyo hivyo sasa ndio watu wakasema ningia construction yenyewe hata mimi nilianza kujifundisha kazi sasa unajua ukikuwa pale sasa ukikuwa idol siku weishi haraka sasa na mimi nikaona siwezi nikakuwa idol nganza kufuata wengine vile wanafanya nikapata mwenyewe nimejua kazi Henry Moti Group concentrates in sharpening football talents in Kisi County after the county government appointed him Kisi County football team coach wakati hizo kisanzi Mr. James Mwaripongwa aliona ni nafanya ni wakati nilionyeshwa kwa TV nafanya construction aliona alisikia vibaya sana sasa ilibidi ilibidi anite anipatie kazi kwa county sasa na niko count kutoka 2015 na kazi yangu ni scout na nurturing the talent ya youth na ndini na mambo ya sports